Guys, this is Random Plush here, coming to you live for another. What the? Sorry, guys, for an interruption of my little baby cat. He's only two years old. His name is Minin, from the from a Pokemon. And apparently, he's patrolling the stage. Shoot. Thank you. So, anyways, sorry for the interruption of our cat. Here's my mini Dino Land right here. Okay. And today we'll be reviewing the Slight Carnotosaurus. Um, yes. I have to show you my collection of dinosaurs first because I don't have that much. I have this Slight Carnotosaurus. Yeah. That's one of them. I have this, um, hold on. Let's keep the eyes on him for a second. Nope. Um, this Jurassic Park Dilophosaurus. Um, hold on. he's taking a little while to get on, up on his feet. As you can see, his little his tail's interrupting. Um, here he is. Um, I have a few other ones. I have. Really? Anyways, I have this Schleich Quetzalcoatlus. Uh, hold on. There. Schleich Quetzalcoatlus. Stand, stand against the tree, please. Just stay there. Stay there. Anyways, the bright, the light might be too much, but I don't really care. We have um, a Safari LTD um, Giganotosaurus. Um, a Paypal Allosaurus, as you can see, they're mostly all predators right here. A Safari Demetrodon. Um, a Safari Dunculectus. Um, I'm pretty sure I have one more. That's the Safari Baryonyx. Where is he? Uh, sorry guys, you know, uh, we're not going to see our very anytime soon. Eh? Today let's get to the re real review. Bop, 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 bop. And here we have it. Our real reviewer, Carnotosaurus. Now, the facts about Carnosaurus is, it's name means flesh-eating bull lizard. And that makes sense because it was a carnivore. And it's actually a fact that on most figures, like let's see this T-Rex. Right here. Get its arms. Here, well, let's sit them down. Okay, look at its arms compared to his arms. Carnosaurus was actually lived in the same time period as Tyrannosaurus Rex, but wasn't part of the same family or had bigger arms. He actually had smaller arms. So if you guys are thinking that all Tyrannosaurus, such as Albertosaurus or Gorgosaurus and Tyrannosaurus, have smaller arms, the smallest arms on the planet, you may be wrong. Because Carnosaurus and the other family members of his have it. No. Let's get, and also, you can tell that Carnosaurus has this bumpy scale skin on him. Fact is that skin, fossilized skin and scales were found with the first Carnosaurus. And that makes him, and that's why he um, has all those bumpy scales and skins. Only if you guys were wondering. If you guys are just mostly under review, let's get started. First, we'll go from the head to the top. As you can see here, great design on the horns. The eyes are that bluish color with the, um, you know, the the pupil. And then, as you can easily tell, he has that orange feeling there and that glossy on the eyes. The paint job on the horns was simply incredible a lot of detail on this guy since he has the skin bumps and those small arms of his smaller than t-rexes 
Of course, I think you've seen me moving his jaw a couple of times. Yeah, Ash likes, likes to make their dinosaurs realistic and move their jaws. Mostly to pipe Here's, uh, uh, here he is, and it's full. Here he is, I like the glossy design on the nostrils. And inside the mouth, let's look inside there. Yep, beautiful design. Like how you can see, it's kind of like bony in there, actually. On the bottom, there's that nice tongue design. And actually, I think that's like kind of a pinkish color for like the gums and the flesh. Let's move down to his little tiny arms. Yeah, these are kind of tiny, but they're really flexible. I mean, they don't turn, but look at these. He couldn't even reach his mouth on like T-Rex, like too. Looks like we found a new Genesis World Record, smallest arms. Anyways, I like the arms are clutched like this. I'm pretty fine with that. And yeah, um, I really like him. Of course, he was a smaller dancer than T Rex. Moving down, you can see the spikes that start on the head go all the way back to the tail. The legs, they look all muscly. And they're pretty flexible. I bought them at Walmart. Anywhere else. I would buy them online probably soon. What I really wanted to review on is the Slyke Tyrannosaurus or the Slyke Cerizosaurus. I mean, the Cerizosaurus is a really cool dinosaur. Yeah, so this is him so far. Size comparison time. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah. Um. Um. You may have to excuse the interruption. I'll leave it here for a sec. We're gonna have to pause. Beep. Beep. Do 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 Okay. Here we are. I'm sorry that took a little while. Let's compare them with this tape measure. Only if I had something to lay him down on. <laughs> oh, hopefully this works. Well, you can barely see him. Okay, come on. Let's see. Let's see this beast. Okay. Okay. As you can see, he's like... From his horns... He's pretty... He's not that tall, actually. I mean, look at this. He's barely anything. I mean, look at this. He's only like, um, like, I don't know. Like, about like six inches tall. He, I don't know. He's not that big. And let's see how long he is. Mm-hmm. about six inches long wait no that's nine inches so sorry it's backwards yep that's pretty long it is size comparison time let's compare them to a few of our other dinosaurs but first compare them to some army guys so here's the first comparison this guy and actually this is kind of how big they were but that guy's like on his knees let's bring in this pirate guy yep Pretty large. Actually, yeah. As you can see here, I'm just gonna look. Look, they're shooting. They're attacking each other. Well, actually, he kind of like screaming or sending off a warning flare. Yeah. Let's go. let's compare them to some real dinosaurs. First, we'll compare them to some small ones. First, let's start off with Quetzalcoatlus. Yeah. He's not that tall. Next, the Metrodon. The Metrodon got lucky having that sail of his. Papo Allosaurus. Wait, no. We forgot one guy. The Dunculectus. Stupid fish! Anyways, let's get the Papo Allosaurus in here. Yep, they size up pretty nice. You know, Allosaurus was stronger, smarter, and hunted in packs. Unlike Carnosaurus here. Carnosaurus would have been screwed. He 
here we have the Jurassic Park Dilophosaurus. And I'm pretty sure that Dilophosaurus is taller, standing on his two legs. Well, he's kind of standing on his knees, but you know he's going to be taller. Even though Dilophosaurus was pretty much that big, actually. Yeah, I'm not doing a T Rex compared to that. Yeah. Here's Stegonotosaurus compared to him. Yeah, much bigger predator. It would probably kill him in like, like a, like a second. You know, both competitors. Um, I think Giganotosaurus would put up a bigger fight. Well, actually, he would because he wants to survive. Well, he would just slaughter him. Yeah. So that's really all I have to say about him. Um. So I hope you like this video. It's one of my first. I am Random Plush, as again. Please subscribe to some of my friends, like Happy Face, Happy Face here, and um, E Tone. Please subscribe to their channels too. If you haven't, please do. Please subscribe to my channel too. And yeah, for and probably I'll be doing some stop motions as well. Um, I'll be doing some stop motions. I hope I can get up to. Maybe about 10 subscribers someday. When I get 10 subscribers, I'll celebrate with a dinosaur video. There will be some stop motions, some plush adventures, Mario plush adventures. Hopefully, I get some Mario plush. And yeah, um, that's gonna be it. So, see you later. Next, next time. Sh like, what's the quadrilus? And Jurassic Park Dilophosaurus. Oh, next time on Dinosaurs being reviewed. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, don't. Bye.